Marshall Pruitt at Le Mans with Garage 56. We are spending some amazing time with Brandon Thomas from NASCAR, VP of Vehicle Design, this next-gen cup car, which is the basis, the heart of this Garage 56 Camaro ZL1. He's taking us on a pretty amazing technical tour, explaining what's different about the car for Le Mans, what's the exact same as you would find at a cup round with this Camaro. So let's get into a couple of the specific topics he's talking to us about here, getting ready for the centenary event, the 24 hours of Le Mans Garage 56. And aerodynamics, again, there's a lot here that a, a cup fan would say, okay, that looks familiar. Yep. And then there are some things where sports car fans would go, hey, those are some cool additions. Tell folks about the evolution of the car for Le Mans from an aerodynamics standpoint. Very good question. So our aerodynamics department, led by Dr. Eric Jacuzzi, was given the task. We got to double the downforce of the cup car. Double? Double. Because the lap time sensitivity there, I mean, for, for a track of this size, you're looking at engine power, you're looking at vehicle mass, you're looking at tire grip, and you're looking at aerodynamics. And that arrow, the, the arrow has to be efficient because while things like the Porsche curves are 150 mile an hour turn, you also have 190 mile an hour straightaway. So the caveat was it has to look like the Camaro. This thing can't have big rear wing on it. It can't have dorsal fins. It can't have all this stuff that our fans and the European fans would not recognize. You know, our, our, our job wasn't to come here and out GT the GT guys. You're not gonna do that in your first shot. We've been at this a long time. So the first thing you'll notice, especially if you run around one of these cars, is the splitter's two inches longer. So the splitter has an entirely new profile underneath. With it's, an aggressive, it's an aggressive thing. It's a very aggressive uh, turn in to the splitter, turning vanes on the bottom side, uh, bolts up right to the engine panel at the same seam that it does on the cup car. It's a nice the engine panel itself. Dive planes too here. Oh yeah, yeah, dive planes on the nose. These are, these are part of the tuning package for the car. So you may see the car throughout various points in time during the week, during the event, two on each side, one on each side. You know, that's, that's kind of up to the uh, Hendrick guys on their desire for what the corner speeds and straightaway speeds really needs to be. And I, I w don't know if I'd call it an arrow thing, but the fact is these aren't stickers. Those are these not are stickers, These are real yes. beautiful headlights on a yes. cup car. Yes, headlights complete with cooling even. Look. Even on the aerodynamics. Look at that, that little slot right here. That little here. slot right there cools yep. the headlights. These things burn bright. And another little thing that you may not notice, this is now the engine air intake. Interesting. So on a cup car, all of the engine air and all the radiators down are below. taken in down below. For here, because you're gonna run for 24 hours, because you're gonna collect a lot of tire rubber, you're gonna be offline. They're gonna be in traffic every lap. And so the engine guys, the folks at Hendrick Motorsports, really pushed and it was a great idea let's move this back up to the top get it out of the way of some of that debris that just comes right off the tires of the cars you're following so move that up so that has retuned the engine air intake separated it from the radiator and oil cooler now smart uh, similar brake cooling rocker box cooling all that type of stuff to maintain temperatures for everything uh, the floor has uh, some fairly aggressive inlets on the engine panel and the rocker boxes feeding the exact same diffuser that we use at the Cup Series, but we changed all the strakes. I was gonna say, the strakes are a there's, thing of beauty if you take a look under here. There's a couple more, and they're a lot longer. And they're aggressive they as well. They go way up to the rear axle. So let's, after uh, looking beneath the car and those strakes, obviously helping to extract air, diffuse the air, create a lot more underbody downforce, Let's close with the back of this beautiful hot rod here, Brandon. So folks love, I hope most folks I've heard from, love the spoiler Absolutely. instead of a wing. Yep. But also, I'm just saying, if uh, people are not able to buy their Camaros for the street without these coming online, these just add something amazing to the car. Then also with this tire width you mentioned as well, just the sheer width. The, the box here at the back to fit everything. Tell folks about all this interaction. So when our air group went to the tunnel, well, they started with CFD, right? And they worked through several scenarios. And this canard first started showing up in CAD. 
and it was definitely a chance to work on the flow path coming off of the rear quarter panel and kind of helping to support what goes on with the support with the spoiler here and we really went round and round about it because you stick them on in the tunnel and I mean they're worth a lot of downforce they're worth drag as well I mean nothing's free especially on the top side of the car but they're worth a lot of downforce and so we went back and forth as to whether Jim France would like it, whether the GM folks would like it. <laughs> you know, they're going to love their car being fast. Everybody that loves racing loves their car being fast. But are they going to love the appearance of it? Uh, as time went on with all the testing, uh, these parts proved their worth in that regard. Obviously, you see little brother sprouted as well right below it. Um, another part of the tuning package. So you might see this spoiler height change from session to session. In fact, it changed yesterday during the test day. Well, the um, car was fast, by the way. It was Very fast. fast. It was fast. Uh, so you might see these parts get changed depending upon what the race engineers are, are fighting. You know, it's up to them and the drivers to kind of work through a tuning package. They feel pretty comfortable where they're at right now, but you know, the event is young, so everybody's gonna get a lot faster. We're talking to the right guy here. Brandon, thank you so much for giving us a technical tour of the Garage 56 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Cup car. I love this thing. We've only done one official test day so far. And look at the exhaust. Oh, I yeah. mean, if that isn't just a cannon singing the national anthem every time it goes by, I don't know what is.